never know when it's going, what something's going to come up, so it's very stressful. Jimmy Sirago's father, Jimmy Sr., is no stranger to the stress that comes with Jimmy's condition. He says his son was not only born premature, but he developed lupus when he was nine, and his kidney shut down two and a half years ago. He's been in and out of the hospital. I mean, it's like tomorrow he might be in the hospital tomorrow. So one day he gets sick, one day he's healthy. Sirago hoped that the planned kidney transplant at Gulf Coast Hospital in April would end his son's health care roller coaster, but instead of ending the ride, the cancellation has made it even more intense. Just can't wait till it's all over. But things may be finally looking brighter for the Saragos. Jimmy Jr. was cleared for a transplant yesterday at a hospital in Weston. They're just waiting for a few tests before surgery is scheduled. The journey has been long and hard, but Jimmy Jr. finds a way to stay positive. Being at dialysis every other day, uh, you know, you talk to all the people, because it's mostly elderly people that, that are still, still waiting. Some have been waiting 10, 10 plus years and aren't very optimistic. Surgeries like this aren't cheap. Jimmy's will cost more than $250,000. The Lost Riders Club in Cape Coral is putting together a community event for Sirago to help pay that bill. I just want to thank everybody for their support and keep the prayers coming. It's been helping a lot. I can't thank you guys enough. And for the donor out there, I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to watch this. You know, you've been uh, a blessing. I just want to thank you. Certainly a tough story. You can find more information on our website and a link to Jimmy's GoFundMe account at fox4now.com. As for Lee Memorial, there's no telling when the kidney transplant pro program will be open for business. A spokeswoman says the review could take several months. Live in the newsroom, Tony Siddiqui, Fox 4, in your corner.